What's going on everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey here today with Rob Gill, product manager for Warrior Hockey, hanging out at Little Caesars Arena with your Novium Pro line in front of us. This is the first new stick line we've seen from Warrior in quite some time. So before we start talking about tech and spec, and there's plenty of it for us to cover, walk me through the flex profile, style of player, and maybe a little backstory into why you guys built Novium. Definitely, so Novium is a mid-kick stick. Uh, really traditional in that way. Uh, you don't see a lot of them anymore. And so that was a big part of the inspiration. It's a really underserved part of the market, that mid-kick player and that style of play. Uh, and we really felt like we had a really unique approach to service that customer with a really lightweight product. And so that was really the inspiration behind it. We have an unbelievable low kick stick in Covert. We have an unbelievable mid-low or hybrid kick stick in Alpha. And we really felt like this was the natural addition to that family. And so the style of player with this being a mid-kick stick, you know, a lot of this is about power and really loading up on the stick. It's a stick that's stiffer down through the taper zone and softer in the hands, so it loads a lot higher, and that's what brings a lot of power to your shot. So if you're that player that really likes to lean into a puck, uh, lean into a shot, big slap shots, one-timers, and that sort of thing, this stick is right up your alley. So you're really making a splash with this first generation of Novium. This Novium Pro, let's talk about the weight. We'll get into the taper, which is pretty, obviously really cool here but the weight i mean you guys are just starting off Hi, walk, walk me through what you guys did yeah so 360 grams uh at the senior level for novium pro uh really exciting it was a stick it's a construction that we were able to pull some weight out of both the blade and out of the shaft really providing some really nice balance uh, and keeping that feel and that playability in the stick but again that's what i was talking about earlier it's it's about serving this part of the market in a really differentiated unique way with that really light weight uh, approach to power. So let's talk about power. Let's talk about the bevel taper. I haven't been this excited for a taper in quite some time because it's just so visually different from anything we've seen from Warrior in the past. Walk me through the bevel technology and why that is so cool for those big power shooters. Definitely, so brand new taper design for us and what it really creates is a, a really stiff zone kind of below the bottom hand, so kind of starting at the warrior word mark and working its way down towards the blade by stiffening that area up significantly. And we've also allowed it to soften up through the hands area. It moves that loading point up on the stick and that's what's gonna bring all that power. The other piece with bevel taper and it being stiffer through that taper zone is it really reduces the torsional flex in this stick. So the blade's not gonna twist on you on those big slap shots, on those hard one-timers. So it's really creating all that power, but also the consistency uh, on those big shots. So based on a couple of shots that I've shot wide today, I'm gonna need maybe another bevel taper on the top <laughs> and bottom here. But realistically though, this is just built for pure power. And it seems like even though it's using a very similar blade to what we find in the LX2 Pro as well as the QR5 Pro, it is gonna feel a little bit different from that signature warrior feel. As you mentioned, a little bit lighter here too. So walk me through what's going on underneath the hood in the blade. Definitely, so the blade construction is very similar. There's a single rib that runs down the length of the blade wrapped in a polymer core in our Minimus Carbon 25. But because of how lightweight it is and the, the mixture of resins and the Minimus Carbon 25 we use, it creates a little stiffer of a feel and a much more responsive blade feel than what you may be used to in an LX2 Pro or an Alpha stick in general or a covert stick in general. And so we've talked about materials, we've talked about the taper, gotta talk about the style too. Like I said, you guys are making a big splash with this Novium line. Uh, walk me through maybe some of the inspiration that you went when you were designing uh, the graphics package. Absolutely, so with Novium, it's a really toned down graphic overall, and you can see that across all price points. It's a lot of black on black. We have some really cool windows through the graphic to show the carbon fiber underneath, which is awesome. But staying really toned down, something that elite players are really looking for in their stick, but really want to add very key big color pops to the stick. And so that's that iridescent foil on the Warrior Word Mark. That's that cool red foil through the Novium logo in the middle and the striping that the stick has. Another really unique feature with the Novium line in general is instead of changing colors a lot from one price to the next, you can see that we've made a lot of changes in terms of the striping. So we go from four stripes on the top price point to three stripes to two stripes. Our designer's a big Call of Duty fan and brought a lot of inspiration for moving up 
the ranks in Call of Duty uh, to the stick. So kind of a unique little call out there, but really exciting graphic. And yeah, the this is a stick at the NHL level. The graphic package is taken off like gangbusters and uh, elite players are absolutely loving it. Now, as we move down in the line, uh, we have the Novium here. As I pick this up, I almost thought that this was the top of the line stick if I didn't see the lack of pro on it. Um, and we've got the two bars, you know, yep. just as you're way, uh, working your way up through the ranks here. What are a couple key features that really make this just a great pickup for that performance? elite level player looking for some great value. Yeah, it's an unbelievable value. It's a unidirectional carbon fiber shaft. We have a 12K weave on the blade, two ribs in the blade with a polymer core, so a lot of durability, really reducing the blade fatigue. But it's really lightweight for the price point. This is a pretty elite level construction at this price point. So you're getting a high level of play stick uh, at a, a much more approachable price. Definitely, and we can almost say the same thing about the Novium SP here. You guys have always done such a great job of bringing down some key technologies from that top end price point into the opening price point that holds true with the Novium line. Uh, walk me through a couple of the great takedown features we find for that you know, performance level, casual player, looking for a great stick for the price. Absolutely, so we're still getting our bevel taper design here, so you're still getting that exact same flex profile and exact same power on this stick that you're getting on the Novium Pro. Same shaft shape, we're still doing a unidirectional carbon fiber shaft, so just like I talked about in the Novium stick. One of the biggest changes here is on the blade, we move away from the 12K weave on the blade to a unidirectional carbon fiber on the blade with that uni stripe really helping to highlight that uni carbon fiber through there. So it's a stick that can really take a beating, uh, put up with a lot, uh, but provide a lot of great performance at a really nice price. Now, last but not least, you mentioned that the, the graphics package has really just spread throughout the NHL and it's almost hard to get players uh, to use something else right now just because it's so hot. But in terms of style of play, is there an NHL player you can name that really exemplifies what it means to be a Novium player? Yeah, I think the two biggest names that come to mind is Drew Doughty in LA uh, is a Novium pro and he has been since day one. And Mark Shifley in Winnipeg, I think are most notable guys. They're guys that really exemplify that style of play and the stick really excels for them. And then uh, maybe looking forward later in the year, 2023, do you think there might be an addition to this Novium family? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> All right, Rob. Well, once again, thanks as always for having us out here and running us through the Novium line. Yeah, happy to do it. And then for you at home, I want to check out the full family of sticks. Make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.